Hi guys, thank you so much for this video. It's Taurus and Obamary again. I trust you guys are having a fabulous week. I also hope you guys had a lovely 4th of July holiday. Thank you so much for clicking on the video. To all those who clicked on the video for the first time, welcome. Thank you and welcome to my channel. Let me start by introducing myself. My name is Taurus and Obamary and I am a beauty enthusiast. I love all things skin. I love all things makeup. So this is my platform where I share all those things okay so guys to the video today don't be alarmed about how i look today i wanted to come on here and do like a review of a certain product product i just got we all know it's summer the weather's hot so it's important that we have we try products that actually work for us so i recently purchased the cover girl true blend matte made um foundation i got this i've been seeing a lot of reviews on it on youtube and everywhere else i wanted to see how this worked compared to my Maybelline Poreless Fit Me foundation. This is I always this is my ride or die. I use this almost every day. I always reach for it because I like the foundation. I like how it works on my face. And I'm of the opinion if you have something that works, why 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 try something else you do want to i'm always scared about trying new foundation because i'm always scared about looking like an opa loompa especially when it oxidizes on my face but with the reviews i was hearing about this i wanted to see how this worked compared to this so what we're going to be doing today is that we're going to be doing like a side by side comparison i'm going to be wearing both foundations throughout the day and i how they both fare by the end of the day i'm going to be out of the house today i have errands to run so I'm very curious to see how both hold up. One side of my face is going to be used, uh, is going to be with the Maybelline. The other side is going to be with the Covergirl True Blend Matte Foundation. Um, I've already primed my face, I've already color corrected, I've already put my Spawn um, Loose Powder. So this is going to be like a side by side comparison. So catch you guys on the flip side and don't forget to subscribe, like and share. So I'm going to start with the left side of my face, which is the right side to you guys, using the Maybelline Matte Pores Fit Me Foundation. Putting that on my beauty blender. On the other side of my face, I'm having some hyper pigmentation right now, guys. So bear with me. The other side of my face, I'm going to be using the shade D80. This has a pump, but the Maybelline that doesn't have a pump, so that's a goodie. I know the new Maybelline brand has some that come with pumps, but I don't, I'm scared to try it. To all of those who have tried it, let me know what you think. Uh -uh. okay so both have been applied as you can see there's not that much difference let me reduce the light so you can see more closer this is the cover girl this is the maybelline this has sort of a dewy it's more shinier than the maybelline i'm giving it time to sit to see what it to see what it feels. This is slightly thicker. I'm already feeling a tad bit warm on this side though than on this side. So far so good. Is this is what it says on the bottle? Comfort matte finish, oil free formula. Um, it's not transferable, not greasy. Okay. So now I'm going to go ahead and finish the rest of my face, then come back and have a chat with you guys afterwards. So my lovely, this is the finished product, finished product, um, as I said, this side is Covergirl, this side is, I'm sorry, this side is Maybelline, this side is Covergirl, I set my face using, both actually, I set my face using the press powder, Covergirl press powder, the translucent, translucent press powder for Covergirl in Sable, and the other side, the java maybe they fit me so this is the finished products let me know guys you know what you think this is my setting spray finish up with my mascara so 
so this is it what do you guys think i will check in with you guys later on and during the day doing my errands and to see what the wear test is okay until then catch you guys on the flip side bye hi guys this is my midday check-in um i put on the makeup at about 10 a.m this morning it's 1 15 now what do you think hmm. i don't think i'm looking like an oompa loompa yet but let me know what you guys think okay bye okay guys mid um it's 5 25 in connecticut oh we're doing a video so let me know how it's holding up okay so guys this is the look it's 7 32 p.m hmm, i can still see some of my hyperpigmentation coming out here with my Maybelline, I can't really tell. It's not really coming out as much as it's coming out here. So, yeah. It didn't oxidize, which is always a good thing. But if you ask me, I'll always reach for the Maybelline Fit Me before I reach for the CoverGirl um, foundation. That's just my preference. But all in all, I think it'll be a nice second from the maybelline okay guys this is it what do you think just don't forget to share your thoughts and your comments which foundation did you guys do you guys prefer which foundation or the cover girl i already have my favorite which i'll stick with the maybelline fit me but i'll well, just for shits and giggles i'll always reach i might reach for the cover girl as well this is the final look what is your favorite foundation for the summer kindly share your thoughts and Thank you so much for clicking on the channel. Look forward to seeing you guys on the next one. Enjoy the re enjoy the rest of your weekend. Bye guys.